Well, hello and how are you? Hey, friends, it's Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, home of the Christmas traditions. I'm going to give you some new times and dates, so uh, bear with because I'm going to be reading it and it'll look like, well, I'm reading it. So here we go. We've got uh, Wednesdays, 6.30 to 9 p.m., Fridays, 6.30 to 9 p.m., Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sundays, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So that there's from now through December 23rd. So remember that that Wednesdays at 6.30 will kick off till 9 o'clock. And then Friday at 6.30 kick off till 9 o'clock. And then Sunday, I mean Saturday, we kick off early at, at 11 a.m., run to 9 p.m. And then Sunday again, we kick off at uh, 12 p.m., well, noon, till 5 p.m. All right, and that's down here on our main street, so come on over and enjoy the festivities. All right, well, all righty then. That being said, this here is going to be blog number 300 and... Uh, let's see, 304. That's right, 304. So, hey, we're getting there every day. We're just chugging along. Chugging along, and I'm not going to sing a song. Because I did the other day, and I don't know whether Craig and Denise really enjoyed that or not. But I made them suffer through it. They suffered through it, regardless of whether they enjoyed it or not. They know. I, 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 I enjoy you guys. I'm glad you... I'm glad you suffer through my uh, blogs anyway. They only got a couple more weeks, well, at least until school's out before they get out of North Carolina, so that'd be a good thing. Of course, if you're sharing this with your friends that are in North Carolina, they probably don't want to see you go, so don't share it with them. Right, right, okay. All right. Uh, let's see, what I say I was going to say? Uh, dog on it i forget what i was gonna say oh yeah i'm a caregiver today she stayed over uh her time that would be uh stephanie she comes in she does her does her thing the nurse showed up today and so that cut her time and and uh she stayed over and she put in the extra time to make sure i got uh <laughs> fed and everything like that so i really appreciate that she's kind of an angel of mercy sent to me from god and you know how that is every day i'm blessed every day every day and then you know always if they don't finish up beverly my other angel from god she finishes up for me so you know how that is everybody works from works around me and i appreciate that i don't like to be Trade it all special like that and everything, but that'll give me a swelled head. And, well, I don't want one. I mean, y'all y'all know me. Y'all know my head's swollen enough already. Get all these people working around me, I'll get really swelled up. Uh, I done set this thing, but I'm having such bad spasms today. that, And I was doing fine a while ago, but my right foot kicked up and it's trying to go off the pedal so go figure now I got my chair up against this thing I can't move a little bit more there now I'm in here cockeyed but at least I can get to my butt buttons gotta wiggle that wire down there alright try that Nope. Come on, button. Wiggle. There we go. Now we're getting her in there. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. I just had to straighten up the chair. Usually I would pause out and do something like that for you. But this here is one of those days you get to see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's warm enough outside. It might be cloudy. But it's warm, and well, unseasonably warm, say it's the weather peoples. But anyway, uh, we had a cold summer, and now we're having a warm winter. See, seasons are flipped upside down. That's what the Lord saith in the book of Revelations. They saith that the, that the, uh, 
that the seasons are going to be unnoticeable. You're not going to recognize what season you're in. So therefore, be prepared. Be prepared, not only for Santa Claus a coming, but, you know, we've got a battle building up. Well, we want to return to Jesus, and I want you all to be prepared, because I am blessed by the, by the Lord, and I know uh, plenty of people around me that are covered, too. And I pray for those that are not. So there you go. As long as you know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you're good in my book. And you're good in his book, too. And he'll help you out in the rapture. Don't know when, and I don't care. I just know that I'm ready to go there. That's all I'm worried about. As long as I'm prepared to go, I am prepared to go. Anyway... And I hope a lot of my friends come with. You know what I'm saying? I hope a lot of you are right there Christians with me and you come with. Because, well, I'd like to see a few friends up there. I know. I know some of my friends ain't going to make it. But but that's all right. They're friend, they still have some familiar faces up there, I'm hoping. And I'm praying for those of you that I don't think's going to. But, you know, I know... I know your lifestyles, and well, it's kind of tough to do. But anyway, I ain't going to harp on you. I mean, although, you know, God knows. And so, as long as you start get, trying to get straight with him in a hurry, you might have a chance. Because if you look at the turmoil around about the earth today, about the globe, well, and, well, the earth too. I mean, it's having, we're having a more, uh, Storms. We're having more uh, tidal waves and whatnot like that there, and more earthquakes here and there, and uh, there's going to be chaos all over the place, and the value of money is going to drop out, and well, all kinds of stuff. You start watching the news and you start reading Revelations, you're going to see some stuff that you just don't want to see unless you are prepared to go. My preaching, I'm a preaching today. Hallelujah. Boy, boy, boy. I'm not normally a preacher, but hey, if the time calls for it, then by golly, I'll preach. If God says do some preaching, and my friends, I'm going to preach to you. Don't want to preach and harp on everybody, but I do want you to be, want you be, I want you to get straight with Jesus so you'll come and see me up in heaven so we'll all be together, my friends. Let me take care of that stupid thing at came up and jumped right up in front of my screen and was right in front of my face and I couldn't see my see myself much less y'all see me I guess I don't know y'all could see me and you saw me tilting my head all up making my mouse click and everything but anyway boy 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 well we do have celebration coming on, you know. Birth of Jesus Christ. As a, as a matter of fact, my mama, she done went and got me a nativity scene. And uh, she went over to uh, one of the thrift stores and picked it up. And, well, when she got there, baby Jesus was missing. Well, somebody else had had the uh, um, Joseph and Mary, but they didn't have the baby Jesus. And so they bought the baby Jesus. And somebody sold it to them separate. And it's like, oh, well, okay. What's the person that's going to buy the set going to get? So anyway, she went and she found a baby somewhere else. And so I got me in a, a little baby Jesus out there on the front porch, which makes it look like a nice little, uh, um, it's got an eave over the top of the front porch. So it kind of looks like a manger. And anyway, baby Jesus is sitting in the basket. Now, that may or may not be right. And I don't know because she was at the hospital the other day. And when she was at the hospital the other day, she was looking at the uh, nativity scene there. And the baby Jesus was gone. And so what she done was took it upon herself to ask somebody, where's the baby Jesus? Because I went to the store and I looked for baby Jesus over at the store and I couldn't find baby Jesus over there because they had done separated the set. And well, the lady that was sitting there, she says, why, it ain't Christmas, so baby Jesus ain't here yet. 
Now, there you go, folks. Put that up on your mind and ponder about it. That's right. He didn't come till Christmas, did he? So, shall he be in your uh, nativity scene right now? I don't know. I reckon that's on your own accord. But you should think about it, because that gives you, there's you some food for thought. Should Jesus be in the uh, uh, nativity scene yet or not? Uh huh. Well, hey. Boy, this is all sounding sound like a whole religious broadcast today. Shoot. I'm not trying to do that, but you know. Hey, if the good Lord grabs you, hopes you, you, touches you, and says, talk about this and that, well, you talk when he tells you. I may be anointed with a uh, healing, with a uh, being able to uh, prayer healing, hair sp uh, prayer speak, whatever. Um, I may be anointed with that, but I'm not going to have you lay your hands upon the television and uh, let me pray for your pains. That's just not quite it. I don't know if, uh, I mean, there are folks out there that, can be healed like that. I've seen them, seen them on the 700 Club, just kind of claim something, you know, somebody needing some healing for something, and and uh, reached out there on the. Well, they didn't reach out towards TV, but they was praying. Uh, either Pat or uh, or um, whoever the rest of them is, I don't remember because well, it's been a long time since I got to see the 700 Club on account. Uh, I don't have those channels on my television anymore. But anyway, whoever was praying at the time, then they come back and they tell you about it later on. They say so-and-so sends in a letter and says, I claimed that prayer for myself, and I was healed in Jesus' mighty name, which is very good. But I don't know, you know, yeah, I got a anointing, but I don't know who to pray for or what to pray for. So... I'm going to kind of leave it alone. Um, God knows, but I'm not going to I'm not going to start doing that because well I might pick up a uh, prayer ministry instead of a blog and if I picked up the prayer ministry then I wouldn't know what to do with it. I'd be getting all kinds of donations rolling in and I wouldn't know what to do with them and my life would become a I don't know what it would become. It would be, I would be a, a preacher and, and a godsend and a open up ministry. And I don't know about that. I know God might give me the answer to that one, though. I'll, I'll pray and ponder upon it, and I'll get me an answer. And if I do, I hope my friends that are been watching along along the way will start to you know, get a message and send it on for me, you know, each and every day. Now, I don't know how to go about doing that, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to get to a point where I have to look up something and read a message every day, a special, uh, special message, because if I do, uh, I don't know that I could do that. I can't, I don't know how long it would take me to set up a special message for each and every day, because I know certain uh you know pastors they give a 30 minute uh or a 45 minute uh message on sunday and it probably takes them you know all week to set that thing up or to figure it out but then again you know if you're if you're anointed to do that then i'm sure that god's gonna give you that message each and every day uh to be able to say hey this here's the message that i've been delivered and go right ahead and spill it out there you know because like i don't know a whole lot of facts about the bible although i have read all the way through it twice um but i can't tell you book verse and book so there are certain things in there i can tell you verse and book but there are a lot of things that i can't so i'd have to look it up in the book and read it to you and I'd say Lord knows and God knows, but 
I don't know if I want to get into that for you. I just want to mostly chat with you. But then again, who knows? So, hey, look forward to these next few uh, next few uh, uh, um, blogs because I don't know what will happen there. I might just start a... I might just start doing that. It just depends on what God tells me to do. Boy, I tell you what, that whole that whole thing was religion, wasn't it? I didn't mean for it to be, but hey, when you got something on your shoulder, you have to talk about it because, well, hey, my God is a powerful God, and if he puts something for me to be said out there, I have to do it. Anyway, hey, this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello, and how are you? You know, God loves you, and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name, and you all have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow because, well, I'll be here, and I hope you are too. All righty. Well, all righty then.